Okay, now we have to put our CO2 cartridge in. What we need to do first, though, to make the CO2 cartridge and the body look good together, we're going to put a chamfer on the center of our body that we've just extruded. So I go select the chamfer command, and I'll set it, I'll grab this particular face here on this edge, I'll rotate it around on the right-hand side, and I'll grab that side as well. I'm going to go ahead and check that off. So now if I do a control one, which would be a front view, you'd see I've got basically kind of a, a pyramid kind of looking shape or a roof looking shape there. That's okay, we can work with that. I'm going to do a control four and come back around here to this side view of the car. I'm going to roll up using my middle mouse button to that side where the CO2 chamber is going to go. So at this time, I'll go ahead and plot some points in there and I'll do that by creating a new sketch. And I will select the right plane on that sketch and I'll go back in and select my point command here and I'll come up above this and place a point just kind of arbitrarily place one now on this one here the second point I place all the way over to the edge it definitely needs to be collinear with the first point that we chose then I'll put a point up here above it and I'll put a point here on the end somewhere above the crease right there now let's go set some smart dimensions in play so I'll click on this, click on that, and I'm going to set that to 8, excuse me, 9.5. Put that dimension to 9.5. Same with this out here. I'll grab this dimension here and set that to 9.5, which is the, is the radius of your CO2 chamber hole, which is 19 millimeters or 3 quarters of an inch. Now I'll come over here and I'll select that point again, and this point, and I'm going to say 4.5 millimeters. So it should have placed this 4.5. Actually, I need a key in 4.5 again. 4.5. There we go. I'm going to place that point up here at 4.5. Now, with this one here on the back, I can actually come up here and select the first one point there and that second one, and I can key in 3.5. All right, I actually put it right there on the top there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, what we'll do now is we'll zoom out just a little bit. Now we got these uh, points in. The points will be very helpful for us when we're plotting later our spline that goes across in the car. So let's start off though with a line. So I'm going to start off with the line here on that point. I'm going to come up here to this other point that I've measured in at nine and a half uh, millimeters. And then I'll come up to right here and I'll click on that. And then I'll switch to my spline command over here. Uh, and I'll start off here at the point I just created and I'll go to this point here. Then I'll come out here in space and make sure that I'm actually uh, on the same collinear point as the first part of the line I drew. Don't worry about where the line goes. We're going to start from here and go back over with another line. So that, that's all in there. Now, the last thing I want to do in this sketch while I'm in it is to place a horizontal center line. So I'll grab that and I'll say it's infinite and I'll place it right there. Now, I want to check a few things. That looks pretty good actually. So I'll get out of that command, then I'll do a uh, uh, exit that command, and I'll go into an isometric view. So all my graphics looks pretty good. I don't have any overhanging lines, and I think I can do this right now. So I'm going to go over here to Features and do a Revolve Boss Base. And it automatically keyed off that center line and put that thing in. So there we have it. So that's a pretty good looking uh, CO2 cartridge. I'll do a Control-1 so you can see it from that angle and that's it that's the other side up there but ah, we got a problem the way we're going to fix this problem is we're going to go ahead and select that face and set ourselves normal to it then we'll go up and create another sketch here on the center of this on the center of this circle right there we'll place the sketch in there and come out here to the edge actually i'm a little off on that so we're going to try that one more time so we're going to go center on circle There we go. That looks pretty good. And then now I'm going to go ahead immediately into extrude cut. And I'm going to key in 53 millimeters as you see here. And it'll go in and it'll cut that out for me. So now as you can tell, I've got my body design. I'll do a control F so you can see it a little bit better. And you get the body design, I got the CO2 chamber design. So we've got a pretty good looking card going here. So let's go ahead and do a rebuild and save and we'll come back to this in a moment.